Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime. We are still deep in the research facility Hydra, or specifically Research Lab Aether. We're going to have a look and see what we can find in the next area. Um, we managed to get ourselves a lovely new upgrade in the last episode, the Super Missile. It's going to help us blow through a few more walls, hopefully find a few more expansions here and there. But for now we're going to head deeper in here and see what we can find. You know, aside from more space pirates. Oh good, the jetpack variety. My favourite. See how you like some missiles fired at your face, buddy. So we've got something downstairs that we haven't seen before. Shall we go and have a look? Is there a ramp down or are we just going to have to jump out again? There's a ramp. But I think I'll take the short route down because, you know, it saves a lot of time. Oh, where's the turrets? Another one, or it's just the one. No, it is a couple. There you go, quick and easy. Jobs are good. Thermal imaging software. This looks interesting. Some sort of new upgrade. Central tank main circuit connection terminated. Oh, look, looky, 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 what's this? What is it? Thermal visor. Not a massive upgrade, but enough to help us see in the dark, um, see heat see signatures, that kind of thing. It's going to make certain areas a little easier. And certain bosses too. And, oh dear. Looks like we're going to have to test out our new... Um, our new visor straight off the bat. Stop moving! Oh, for God's sake. I'm having trouble locking on. Seriously, this is not locking on properly. There we go, that's one now. There we go. That was kind of annoying. Door there we can't get through, so it looks like we've only got the one way out. Back the way we came. Surely they're not going to have locked the door and left us in here with two space pirates, are they? I knew that would go well for them. <clears throat> Makes me wonder if we might have something a little more to deal with before we get out of the door. Apples. Ah, well, that's fine. If it's just the one Metroid, it's uh, it's annoying, but not gonna stop us too much. Let's switch back to the power beam. See if a super missile will do the job with these guys.
Oh yeah, super missile does the job. That's going to make things just a tad easier. You can see something over there we're going to need to get out. Boom! Job's a good one. Door has no power. Oh wait, wave but wave beam. Here we go. This is the bombu's playing havoc on our systems again. No wait, this is something else. This is something new. Sentry drone, well armed and armoured security mecha. Security drones have limited intelligence to do their assigned tasks well. Being machines, they are susceptible to electrical attacks. When alerted, drones initiate a security lockdown, then attempt to neutralise the intruder. Their electronic warfare suite can scramble visor technology as well. Of course it can. And I can't see. Let's get the. Oh man, these are tough. Man, they kicked my ass. Blew through a tank of a tank and a half of energy just to take care of those guys. I swear to God, it doesn't lock on quite so well with the thermal visor enabled, and I'm getting my ass handed to me by these guys. Take the thermal visor off? No, I cannot. Well, I can, but I can't see what I'm doing. It's not helpful. I could hear a turret somewhere around, I just didn't know quite where it was. Let's head upstairs. There's no mini map I noticed with the thermal visor either, which is a bit of a pain. Oh, fuck off! Seriously, dudes. Get the hint. Now I'm gonna have to fucking go down and do it again. Because you knocked me off. Go to hell. Go to hell. See what I can do about picking up some energy along the way. There's a I can see an upgrade up there. Yeah, I swear to God the lock-on doesn't actually work as well with the thermal and um, visor. There we go. I'm finding I'm having to click it a few times before it actually kicks in, which is annoying. So there is something there. The question is, how do I get to it? Something up. Top. Can I actually walk along there, or do you think I've got to take the long way and both ball it through? Let's have a look. Do with the lights on, really. to morph ball this. I'm going to have to very slowly, very carefully inch my way along. All that's going to happen. Okay, I think I'm going to pause it, um, work my way through the puzzle, maybe, uh, if I can't get through it this time around, and then pick it up straight when I've finished it. Okay, so we finally made our way across the platform. Um, we are still in Research Lab Aether. 
and we're about to pick up another little missile expansion. That was an annoying little puzzle. What I should have done there was to complete that one before the lights went out with the thermal imaging. Um, just the combination of the camera change when you hop onto that platform um, and the well, just the fact that the lights are out and you can barely see what you're doing is, is just not good. I should have done that one earlier, but never mind, I got it, it's fine. And it serves a nice little bonus, nice little missile expansion. There is another one on our way out the door, I remember. You will see it soon enough. So we want to head back on ourselves through the control room and the east tower. Let's see what I can do about grabbing some energy and things along the way. Simply because the last few fights have really done me in. Combination of sentry drones and seemingly unlockable pirate space pirates. Gonna be outside soon, so I'm gonna switch back to normal visor. Ah, oh, I can see! I can see! It's a miracle! It's a miracle! Oh, what a world! Take a quick sip of tea while we're waiting here. Back outside to the big plateau on the control room. Since I still can't really tackle any of these, and I can't be bothered to face the space pirates or the, the, the flying jet pirates again, for now, I'm going to slip straight past them. Oh, pants. I was enjoying being able to see where I was going. and save. Get our energy restored if nothing else. And we've done quite a lot in this episode already so you know we want to pick up where we can. Energy fully replenished. Much better. Alright then. Now, I'm going to need to head downwards I think. No, that's not the map button. Yeah, we're going to need to head down one level to the other side. We actually don't necessarily need the thermal visor here. We can kind of see where we're going. I'm going to ignore the pirates because then I don't need to face them. It's just kind of... It's just, um, they're more of an inconvenience than anything else in the world. A lot more aggressive on these guys. There we go. That made them a lot easier. Got to find a good balance between playing conservatively and just getting in there and kicking ass, basically. Oh, I hate it when the Metro doors do this. It seems to remember. For a start, I can see some space pirates kicking around, and for another start, for another thing, I seem to remember there is an upgrade in that little casing. There we go. Now it's cordite casing, we can actually blow our way through it. Crazy. Another missile expansion, which we are finding in Research Lab Hydra, which is nice. Is nice! Now, I'm going to try something with this guy. See how he fares to a super missile to the face. The answer? Not well. Not many things we've come up against so far have um, been able to withstand, you know, a super missile to the face. I know it's kind of a reckless use of missiles, but it's making our time through here a lot faster. And we are finding um, top-ups for missiles quite regularly, so, you know, it just saves us time, really. Plus, if they're still kind of stuck to the ceiling and they haven't really noticed us, 
then, you know, or haven't, ne not necessarily have noticed us, but are waiting to ambush us, we may as well take advantage of that. I'm going to leave this last guy and take him out myself, though. And that made that room a lot easier. You grab a few missile top ups on the way out the door, or in some cases absolutely nothing. Continue heading our way back out of the research lab now that we've pretty much cleared it as deep as we can go anyway. There was a door back where we got the thermal visor that we couldn't get to before. Um, but we will find that. We will get to that eventually. Again, not quite sure why I'm facing these guys down. I don't need to. They are in my way though. buddies in the afterlife. So, 20 of 55 missiles. Not quite as many as I'd like. Burned quite a few through this facility, but that's my own stupid fault for using a super missile on everything I've come across. It's fine. I don't mind. And we are back outside again. Ah, clear the eyes. Finally we can see what we're doing. a nice little couple of upgrades. Take a deep breath and enjoy the chilled music again. So we've got a couple of lovely upgrades from this the last couple of episodes. Hopefully one of them will allow us to see where we need to go next. safe point where we can. So we still need to get through that door really. We need to figure a way through the door. <coughs> and since it has a light very similar to before, I'm wondering if it needs power. Hmm. Aha! Cordite statue. Well, we know what we can do about Cordite, don't we? Charge up a power beam and blow it away with a super missile. And then get ourselves back onto the wave beam and power up the door. And the door is open. The path is open. What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't want to change that. I want to change that. There we go. Oh, the bomb boost. A few missiles. That's handy. Nearly back up to full now. That's quite good. Now we are finding ourselves a little bit of a shortcut through. If I've got my directions right, we're heading through the research quarantine area that, um, we read about in the research lab, Hydra. Uh, the quarantine, yeah, the quarantine tunnel. So I have a feeling we're about to face our next boss. For that reason, I'm going to pick this up in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time here and see what we can find. You know, aside from more space pirates. Oh good, the jetpack variety. My favourite. See how you like some missiles fired at your face, buddy.
So we've got something downstairs that we haven't seen before. Shall we go and have a look? Is there a ramp down or are we just going to have to jump out there again? There's a ramp. But I think I'll take the short route down because, you know, it saves a lot of time. Oh, where's the turrets? It's just the one. No, it is a couple. There you go, quick and easy. Jobs are good. Thermal imaging software. This looks interesting. Some sort of new upgrade. Central tank main circuit connection terminated. Oh, look, looky, 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 what's this? What is it? Thermal visor. Not a massive upgrade, but enough to help us see in the dark, um, see heat seek, signatures, that kind of thing. It's going to make certain areas a little easier. And certain bosses too. And oh dear. Looks like we're gonna have to test out our new um our new visor straight off the bat. Stop moving. Oh for god's sake. I'm having trouble locking on. Seriously, this is not locking on properly. Well, that's fine. If it's just the one Metroid, it's uh, it's annoying, but not gonna stop us too much. Let's switch back to the power beam. Let's see if a super missile will do the job with these guys. Oh yeah, Super Missile does the job. That's going to make things just a tad easier. You can see something over there we're going to need to get out. Boom! Jobs are good in. Oh, has no power. Oh wait, wave by wave beam. Here we go. This is the bombos playing havoc on our systems again. No, wait. This is something else. This is something new. Sentry drone, well armed and armoured security mecha. Security drones have limited intelligence to do their assigned tasks well. Being machines, they are susceptible to electrical attacks. When alerted, drones initiate a security lockdown, then attempt to neutralise the intruder. Their electronic warfare suite can scramble visor technology as well. Of course it can. And I can't see. Let's get the. Oh man, these are tough. Man, they kicked my ass. Blew through a tank of a tank and a half of energy just to take care of those guys. I swear to God, it doesn't lock on quite so well with the thermal visor enabled, and I'm getting my ass handed to me by these guys. I 
take the thermal visor off? No, I cannot. Well, I can, but I can't see what I'm... Oh yeah, Super Missile does the job. That's going to make things just a tad easier. You can see something over there we're going to need to get out. Boom! Job's a good one. Door has no power. Oh wait, wave but wave beam. Here we go. This is the bombos playing havoc on our systems again. No wait, this is something else. This is something new. Sentry drone, well armed and armoured security mecha. Security drones have limited intelligence to do their assigned tasks well. Being machines, they are susceptible to electrical attacks. When alerted, drones initiate a security lockdown, then attempt to neutralise the intruder. Their electronic warfare suite can scramble visor technology as well. Of course it can. And I can't see. Let's get the. Oh man, these are tough. Man, they kicked my ass. Blew through a tank of a tank and a half of energy just to take care of those guys. I swear to God, it doesn't lock on quite so well with the thermal visor enabled, and I'm getting my ass handed to me by these guys. Take the thermal visor off? No, I cannot. Well, I can, but I can't see what I'm doing. It's not helpful. I could hear a turret somewhere around, I just didn't know quite where it was. Let's head upstairs. if they're still kind of stuck to the ceiling and they haven't really noticed us then you know or haven't ne not necessarily have noticed us but are waiting to ambush us we may as well take advantage of that I'm gonna leave this last guy and take him out myself though and that made that room a lot easier you grab a few missile top ups on the way out the door or in some cases absolutely nothing continue heading our way back out of the research lab now that we've pretty much cleared it as deep as we can go anyway. There was a door back where we got the thermal visor that we couldn't get to before, um, but we will find that. We will get to that eventually. Again, not quite sure why I'm facing these guys down. I don't need to. They are in my way though. in the afterlife. So, 20 of 55 missiles. Not quite as many as I'd like. 
burned quite a few through in this facility, but that's my own stupid fault for using a super missile on everything I've come across. It's fine. I don't mind. And we are back outside again. Ah, clear the eyes. Finally, we can see what we're doing. Grab ourselves a nice little couple of upgrades. Take a deep breath and enjoy the chilled music again. So we've got a couple of lovely upgrades from this the last couple of episodes. Hopefully one of them will allow us to see where we need to go next. <clears throat> Hit on the safe point where we can. So we still need to get through that door really. We need to figure a way through the door. <coughs> and since it has a light very similar to See how you like some missiles fired at your face, buddy. So we've got something downstairs that we haven't seen before. Shall we go and have a look? Is there a ramp down or are we just going to have to jump out there again? There's a ramp. But I think I'll take the short route down because, you know, it saves a lot of time. Oh, where's the turrets? Another one, or it's just the one. No, it is a couple. There you go, quick and easy. Jobs are good. Thermal imaging software. This looks interesting. Some sort of new upgrade. Central tank main circuit connection terminated. Oh, look, looky, 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 what's this? What is it? Thermal visor. Not a massive upgrade, but enough to help us see in the dark, um, see heat seek, signatures, that kind of thing. It's going to make certain areas a little easier. And certain bosses too. And oh dear. Looks like we're gonna have to test out our new um our new visor straight off the bat. Stop moving. Oh for god's sake. I'm having trouble locking on. Seriously, this is not locking on properly. There we go, that's one now. There we go. It was kind of annoying. <laughs> 